Welcome back. Well, we may not be in the Super Bowl this year, but we're still number one. Yeah, that is according to a new survey of which city has the best football fans. Wallet Hub compared more than 200 cities with pro or college teams, and Pittsburgh came out on top for the second year in a row. We are followed by Boston, Dallas, Green Bay, and New York. Among the factors they consider, ticket price and fan friendliness. And I kind of get that. I mean, mm -hmm. we in Pittsburgh, many of us grew up here, and I think that sort of yeah. adds to the whole intrigue. And, I know, think so, too. Our sports teams are inspiring. Mm -hmm. They are. Yeah. Well, in today's cooking corner, we are gearing up for some football on Super Bowl Sunday with Market District chef Crystal Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I have a lot of fun watching the game, of course, but the snacks and the food may be my favorite part. Yeah, <laughs> I, was about I agree. To say that, then yeah. the commercials too. The so commercials. even though we're not in it, we still watch. Exactly. You know? So I'm very good. intrigued with everything that Me you have. Me too. For so I, I like simple for a party, but Super Bowl is a time to like kind of show off a couple. A couple, not 50 million, but a okay. couple new things, okay? So we're going to make a beverage. We're going to do buffalo shrimp. And then we're going to do a cauliflower dip because we want a little heavy, a little light, you know, somewhere in between. Okay. And then when I say we're not making everything, pick up your chili. Pick up pretzel nugget trays, you know. Oh, okay. Pick up the, okay. you know, all the snacks, the guacamole, the salsa. Okay. You don't need to be in the kitchen all day so you fall asleep during the game, right? <laughs> it's not point. the way to go. So okay. we're gonna make our beer sangria mm -hmm. first. Okay. You guys are gonna make it. Mm -hmm. Look at this. So all the fruit you I was have about to here. say, there's lots of fruit in there. We have uh, oranges, grapefruit, limes, mm -hmm. and then we have vodka, a little bit of triple sec, and some oh. pineapple juice in there. Okay. okay. And do we drink it like that or we add to it? Well, you could, but we're going to we're going <laughs> to add a little fizz to it. Okay. We want to make it through the game, okay? Right. So. Pace yourself. <laughs> you so you're going to take so and throw in some beer. So this add, is a how wheat many beer. Should we add? Throw them it's all a good in. Beer. Okay. And then we're going to stir it up and then I've got some cups with ice and some oranges in there. Mm -hmm. So, it makes it nice, it's refreshing and you don't always think about sangria, you know, with beer, but you can definitely do that and it's it's it just is a, a, a little bit of a twist. I'm Something doing this a little this bit different. Weekend. So, I love this good. beer. This is a good beer. one. The so, instead of just having beer, snack. just having wine, you can have something else. Don't worry. Do you have to use wheat beer or do you can You don't use have to. Beer. You could use a lager. Okay. You, and know, you, you could keep use keep going a or are we just stop enough. there. Okay, stop. Yeah, stop there. We're good. <laughs> We're gonna right. we're gonna have everybody <laughs> drinking today. <Okay. laughs> so I'm stirring it up. You macerate your, your fruit. So the the alcohol, the vodka, the triple sec, uh, pineapple juice, and the fruit go in for about an hour or two, or overnight. And oh, then the overnight. beer goes okay. in last. Okay. Okay. And then you can pour that. And if you need, and I have a little pour? strainer here. Yet. Yeah? Oh, okay. And okay. And strain that. that and while you guys are doing that, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and make some shrimp, the buffalo shrimp. So what I have is uh, shrimp that's been um, marinating in a little bit of buttermilk and a little bit of egg because it helps with the batter for your shrimp. And then I'm going to take and put it into a mixture of flour, cornstarch, garlic powder, and a touch of cayenne. Do you want a little, a little, little bit spice? Of yes. But we're going to throw some more heat on it afterwards. Okay. So you take and you put it in. Thank you, Selena. Stir them You're up. You're welcome. Crystal, we don't have one for you here. It's okay. I gotta cook. <laughs> okay, all, all right. right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Later on, we'll get you one. <laughs> so, I've got my shrimp. I'm gonna take and throw it in. You want your oil to be really hot. You want to hear that sound? Okay. Okay. And throw and your shrimp in. How long are they gonna stay in here? So they're gonna stay in there for about two minutes. Okay. okay. Which is why I'm not gonna throw the rest of my shrimp in because when I forget about that. Nobody wants to eat those tough shrimp, but about mm -hmm. two minutes, depending right. on how big. I have 16, 20 shrimp. So you're keeping So I have nice them big way. ones, exactly. Okay. Right. So then you're going to take them out and drain them. We're try this and then, you. please. Right. And then I have buffalo sauce, basic buffalo sauce, butter, hot sauce, okay? Oh, yeah. Does that work? I, and this is also yum. This is yum. Oh, good. Oh, this is delicious. Nicely done, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Little. Buffalo sauce drizzled on top. You could toss them, but mm -hmm. I like to find the crispy parts when it sits for a moment. You don't want them to be real soggy, gotcha. so you could serve the sauce on the side as well. Okay. okay. But this way it keeps them crispier. Keeps them crispy. That's smart. So then what I have is sour cream, mayonnaise, touch of buttermilk. Because okay. you know how you always get buttermilk and then you end up with buttermilk left over? Right. Okay, so buttermilk's gonna go in here too. <laughs> okay. okay. And a little bit of vinegar. Okay. And then I'm gonna add a touch of dill. 
And then I'm gonna add my blue cheese. And so this is the dressing that we're That's using. That's the dressing for your shrimp. For the shrimp? Okay. Yes. All right. It's, it's I got gotta lost. be, you gotta have something to dunk. Well, you oh, know, yeah. you need to be, have action while you're can't walking. You have enough again, sauces. Right? So then mm. you just mix it up. And then you'll season it with some salt and pepper. And then serve it alongside of your shrimp. And that looks good. Oh, good. I love oh, blue yeah. cheese. So, and that can be made well ahead, you know, as well, like a few days ahead, and you'll be great. Oh, super. Okay. The more you can do ahead of time, the, the, the more better. relaxed you are. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. You, you just don't want to stress in the kitchen. Right. I mean, you get out there and then, like me, I'm going, like, why are you people in my house now? You know, you just don't get to enjoy the company. <laughs> don't do that. Here, chef. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's what you need at that point. So then, why are you people in my house? <laughs> why are you people in my house now? I've done all this work. Get out. So I've got cauliflower dip. Mm -hmm. So we think about you know getting dips from you know French onion on and on. But I like this dip because it's still creamy. And if you have some folks and you're looking to still maintain you know a good diet, right. looking mm -hmm. for some vegetables in there, you, this will make everybody happy. It they won't know it's cauliflower. I thought it was hummus. I thought exactly. it was hummus yeah. too. Yeah. So they won't know. So what I did is I steamed off cauliflower, sautéed some onions, a little bit of cumin, mm -hmm. salt. Um, a little bit of cayenne pepper went in there, garlic went in, okay? Then olive oil, and then we're gonna take and put some parsley on. And I love the peppers, but are these lettuce? That is, is a lettuce, it? that is That's endive. Delicious. And oh. I love that little bit of bitterness with yeah. it. So you can have some sweets. Some, you can put any That's vegetable a good idea. by it. I love it's good with chips, you too. You can scoop it. Exactly. Yeah. So a really nice way to go. And like I said, there's something for everybody with it. I love that one commercial where they say, on Dave. On Dave. On Dave. Not <laughs> end yeah. dive, On Dave. <laughs> oh, thanks, Selena. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So like I said, then we're making hummus like crazy. Every store is making hummus and, mm -hmm. and salsa so that everybody's ready so you don't have to do it at home. And I said, we have new chili as well that maybe people have seen our white chicken chili and our mm -hmm. cactus chili, which has, which has some corn in it, um, which is really kind of fun as well. And then, mm -hmm. um, like I said, our pretzel nugget trays are really popular. And if you're looking for a lighter snack, I found these cauliflower uh, chips. Or crackers oh, over really? there, so they're really kind of neat too. And Cauliflower. banana chips. I will tell you, this cauliflower dip, I like so good. It is of so course. good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, well, we're coming to your house for the game. Yeah, I love All everything right? here. <laughs> and I have to say, this was one of the best picture. drinks. <laughs> I'm making that on Sunday. I know, sure. it's that very was good. Refreshing, but we thank you so much You're for being welcome. here. This is a lot always of always my pleasure. <laughs> and our thanks, as always, to Giant Eagle for presenting the Cooking Quarter here on PTL. For a copy of today's recipes, make sure to visit Pittsburgh. TODAYLIVE.COM. Well, do you feel like hours of scrolling on Instagram is keeping you from being productive, Selena? Yes. <laughs> Next in today's PTL Tech Report, some tips on how to successfully take a break from it all. Plus, do you love fishing, hunting, hiking, and other outdoor sports? Stay with us to see how you could win tickets and a whole lot more for the upcoming Allegheny Outdoor Sports and Travel Show. The details are just ahead.